In this video we're going to be looking at forming and solving equations whenever you're dealing with uh, geometry. So in this case, angles and perimeter I've been focusing on really. Okay. So the first question we've got here is says the perimeter of a rectangle is 90 centimeters. Find the length of the longest side. So we know the perimeter is 90 centimeters. So the distance around the, uh, the distance around the outside is 90 centimeters. It says find the length of the longest side. Now we know the longest side is x plus 4. And we know the short side is x. So that means that obviously that this side here would be x plus 4 as well. Obviously it's opposite this one. And this one would be x. Now it says the perimeter is 90. That means if we add up all the distances around the outside, we're going to get 90. So if I add x plus 4, x, x plus 4 and x, it will add together to give you, uh, give you 90. So we'll form an equation and then we can solve it. So x plus 4 plus x plus x plus 4 plus x equals 90. So x plus x plus x plus x is 4x, and 4 plus 4 is 8. So 4x plus 8 equals 90. Let's just double check that. x plus x plus x plus x is 4x, 4 plus 4 is 8. So 4x plus 8 equals 90. And then what you're going to do is take away 8 from both sides of the equation. So take away 8, take away 8. So you're going to get 4x is equal to 82. And then you're going to divide that by 4. So you're going to divide both sides by 4. So whenever you do that, you're going to get, well, let's just half and half it again. So x is going to be, run out of room there. x is going to be half of 82 is 41. Half of 41 is 20.5. So that means the short side is 20.5. And that means that the long side, we add 4 to it, would be 24 plus 5. Let's just check this. 24.5 plus, uh, plus 24.5 would be 49. Okay, so that would be 49. 20.5 uh, 20 and 20.5 20 would be 41. And add those together. Yep, that gives you 90. Fantastic. Just checking your answer. So the question said, find the longest side. So that would be 24.5. Okay, this time we've got a question involving angles and we've got a quadrilateral now it's important to remember that the angles in a quadrilateral will add up to 360 degrees okay so when you add these four angles together you get 360 degrees so let's form an equation and put it equal to 360 or write an expression for the angles and put it equal to 360 so if we add the angles together we've got oh actually this one here is a right angle so this would be 90 okay so we have got 2x plus x, which is 3x, actually we could just write it all down. So 2x plus x plus x plus 10 plus 90, and that would be equal to 360. So 2x plus x is 3x, plus x is 4x, so that's 4x, 4x, not 40, so 4x. So 4x. That's 2x plus x plus x is 4x. 10 plus 90 is plus 100. And that will equal 360. So let's take away 100 from both sides. So you're going to get 4x is equal to 260. And divide both sides by 4. So x equals half of it is 130. Half of it again is 65. So x is equal to 65 degrees. So if you look at our diagram, let's actually mark what all the angles would be. So this angle here is 65 degrees. This angle here is 2x. So 2 times 65 is 130 degrees. Add 10 to 65. So that's going to be 75. And this one's 90. And if you were to add all these up, you would get 360 degrees. Okay, and our last question. Uh, here we've got a pentagon. Um, remember the angles in a pentagon add up to 540. I really think you should know what a, quadru a triangle, quadrilateral, so triangle's 180, quadrilateral's 360, a pentagon's 540, and a hexagon's 720. I think you should remember at least those shapes off by heart, okay, before going into the exam. Whenever you're in the exam, you should just know those off by heart. You should be able to prove the other, or get the other ones as well, but I think they're just ones that you should just know off by heart, just to help speed things up a little bit. So, if we add up uh, the angles in this shape, you're going to get 540 degrees. So, let's write that down, okay? So... We've got 2x at the top plus 2x plus 20 plus 3x minus 30 plus 150 minus x plus 2x and that equals 540. So let's simplify that. Uh, 2x plus 2x is 4x 
plus 3x is 7x, take away x is 6x, plus 2x is 8x. And let's do the numbers. 20 take away 30 is minus 10, and minus 10 plus 150 would be plus 140. And that equals 540. And then you're just going to solve this equation. So take 140 off both sides, so minus 140, minus 140. So you're going to get 8x equals 400. And then divide by 8, so divide both sides by 8. So 400 divided by 8. 8 into 40 goes 5 times, 8 into 0 goes 5. So the answer is x equals 50 degrees. So let's just put all the angles on the diagram then. So 2x, well 2 times 50 is 100. 2x, 2 times 50 is 100. 2x plus 10, so 100 plus 20 is 120. Um, this one, x was 50, so 150 take away 50 is 100. And 3x, well 3 times 50 is 150, take away 30 is 120. And if you add these angles together, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 540 degrees. Fantastic.